In the year 1519, the Spanish explorer Hernando Cortes anchored his 11 ships off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Cortes had traveled thousands of miles across the ocean on an ambitious conquest to steal Mexico away from the Aztecs. The Aztec Empire had tens of thousands of warriors. Cortes, on the other hand, was only able to transport 608 men, 16 horses, a few cannon in 11 small ships. But despite the odds, Cortes was fully committed to the mission, and he ordered his men to go ashore and make camp. On one of the first nights, Cortez's men were awakened by shouts of panic. They stumbled out of their tents to find their wooden ships burning in the waters off the coast. Their hearts must have sunk. These vessels were their only means of retreat, their only way back to home and civilization. And now the ships were going up in flames. Some of the men they apparently moved quickly to row out and fight the blaze. But to their astonishment, Cortez stopped them. He told them that he had ordered the ships to be burned. Cortez was sending a very clear message to his men. There would be no retreat on this mission. They would conquer this new land or die trying. Was Cortez insane? Some historians think so. But regardless of what others think of him in hindsight, one thing is certain. In the year 1519, one man totally committed himself to a cause, and under his leadership, 608 men, 16 horses, and a few cannon conquered an empire and changed history. It's amazing what can happen when people commit themselves so much to a cause that they're willing to burn the ships behind them, leaving no room for retreat. It makes them so dangerous to their enemies because they have only one direction to go, forward. There's no chance that they can be intimidated enough to fall back. It's all or nothing. Cortez was committed to all or nothing and so committed to his cause that it made him look crazy. But the same could be said for so many of the faith heroes in the Bible. Heroes like Abraham, Noah, Moses, Ruth, Joshua and Caleb, Daniel, Stephen and others must have looked foolish, even insane, because of their risky actions. They lived dangerously in the hands of God. Just like Cortez, they totally committed to the cause. And they never retreated, even when their reputations and their very lives were at stake. What would happen if you just like Cortez, burn the ships. What if you never considered the possibility of retreat and just followed Jesus? What might happen?